Like so many great painters of the time, Sir Edwin Landseer exhibited his child before the genius. The Institute took an interest in his career at the tender age of only 13. And looking at this self-portrait, it's easy to see why. It's an overwhelmingly dark painting with heavy black and grey tones. His eyes are set and focused. His powerful and muscular body marks him out as a competitor worthy of Olympian tasks. Welcome to the Beaton Harris Art Gallery. You are listening to Professor Gilbert's guide to our artistic objects collection. We begin to the left with this magnificent 19th century cast of a classical Greek athlete. One arm thrust forwards, the other pulled back, ready to spring into action. He strikes an imposing figure against these gallery walls. Up next, Dante Gabriel Rossetti's red-haired beauty, the lovely Venus Verticordia, commissioned around 1863. Her eyes fix the viewer like a dart, luring us in with an almost devilish sensual magnetism. But just around the corner lies an even greater threat. In this powerful 19th century work, two Arthurian knights march across a deserted plain, swords at the ready, Little do they know of the dark and dangerous creature lurking in the shadows behind them. Blink, and you might miss our final artistic object. This little anonymous work of abstract art, framed by a long sweep of black. Its organic design makes for an understated closing image, quite out of place in the company of soldiers, damsels and heroes. It's quiet, gentle, perplexing, and yet unreservedly beautiful. 